Hello students. Today we will see few more problems in semiconducting material. I am Dr. R. Priya, Professor of Physics, RMD Engineering College. So let us read the problem. Silicon contains 5 into 10 power 28 atoms per meter cube. In an n-type silicon sample, the donor concentration is 1 atom per 2.5 into 10 power 7 silicon atoms. Find out the position of Fermi level at 300 Kelvin. Assume that the effective mass of an electron is equal to free electron mass. So what is to be noted? It is n-type semiconductor. Then what is given in the problem? Carrier concentration is given in the problem. And also something is mentioned about the donor concentration. It is not directly given. We have to find out. Donor atoms have to be found out. Okay, then what is asked in the problem is to find out the position of Fermi level. Temperature is given and also effective mass of an electron is assumed to be free electron mass. So let us first write down what is all given in the problem. So given M E is equal to free electron mass M. Okay, so we normally use M E star, no? So that is equal to M, which is equal to 9.11 into 10 power minus 31 kg. T is equal to 300 Kelvin. Then concentration of uh, electrons in the uh, N type semiconductor is given as 5 into 10 power 28 atoms per meter cube. Then we are asked to find out EF. Let us first write EF equation. We will know what is missing or whether all the data are sufficiently given or anything has to be found out. Okay. So let us write the equation. So you can refer to your theory and write down this equation. Eg by 2 plus Kbt by 2. Here I am using log but it is actually ln only. Okay, let me be uh, very clear in writing that ln. nt divided by 2 into 2 pi me star kbt by h square whole power 3 by 2. So this is the equation. Now you see here eg is not given in the problem but indirectly it is given as what it is silicon. So silicon we know the EG. So let us write for silicon EG is equal to 1.1 electron volt. So convert that into joule 1.1 into 1.6 into 10 power minus 19. So if you multiply you will get 1.76 into 10 power minus 19 joules. So EG, then KB is a constant, T is given in the problem. Then uh, coming to uh, the factors inside the lawn, ND is not directly given, it has to be found. So next task is to find out ND. So how to find out ND? See, look at the problem. The donor concentration is 1 atom per 2.5 10 power 7 silicon atoms. So for every 2.5 into 10 power 7 atoms, 1 atom is added. So totally this is the concentration and this is 1 atom is added for every 2.5 into 10 power 7. So the ratio will give you the donor concentration. So ND is equal to 5 into 10 power 28 divided by 
5 into 10 power 7. So, if you do that, you get uh, 2 into 10 power 21. So, 5 divided by 2.5 is 2. 10 power 28, uh, this uh, minus plus 7 will go to the numerator as minus 7. So, 10 power 21. So, so many atoms. So, this is the donor concentration. So, once again you look at the formula, EF is equal to EG is known, KB is constant, T is given, ND is found out in a denominator 2, 2, 2 pi ME star. ME star is uh, given as free electron mass, we have written that. So, KB is constant, T is given, H is constant. So, everything is known. So, now I have to substitute. So, let us substitute EF is equal to EG, we have found it to be 1.76 into 10 power minus 19 divided by 2 plus KB. KB is 1.38 into 10 power minus 23 joule per Kelvin into T is 300 Kelvin, it is given in the problem, divided by 2. Then ln ND, just now we have found out, 2 into 10 power 21. Whole divided by 2 into 2 pi into ME star, that is M. 9.11 into 10 power minus 31 into 1.38 into 10 power minus 23 into 300 divided by h square. 6.6 .6 into 10 power minus 34 the whole square. Whole power 3 by 2. So, this is the substitution. So, when you are doing this, do this part by part. Hmm? Okay. I will uh, give the value for each term so that you can do in the calculator at check. Okay. So, 8.8 .8 into 10 power minus 20 plus 2.07 into 10 power minus 21 into lawn within the bracket alone is 7.977 into 10 power minus 5. So, on doing this, you will definitely get one minus which can be ignored because the ln of that value will be a minus. So, you can just ignore because we are talking only about Fermi energy which is a, which is a scalar value. Okay, so what we will get is 6.0. So, here it is uh, this term multiplied by this term. Okay, then that has to be added. We should not make a mistake there. 6.84 7 into 10 power minus 20 joule. Normally, we express EF only in terms of uh, electron volts. Okay, so I will convert now 6.847 into 10 power minus 20 divided by 1.6 into 10 power minus 19, which is equal to 0 0.4279 electron volt. So, you have located the position of EF. Okay. The problem appears to be complicated, but if you write the formula correctly and try to track term by term, it will be easy to get the answer. Okay, like this several other models will be given, 
are giving the ef value or asking you to find some other value something of that type so you simply have to rewrite the equations in different form to find out different terms okay so we'll move on to the next problem now let us solve this problem first let us read the problem a n type semiconductor specimen has hall coefficient rh is equal to 3.66 into 10 power minus 4 meter cube per coulomb the conductivity of specimen is found to be 112 ohm power minus 1 meter power minus 1 calculate the charge carrier density n e n e suffix e okay and electron mobility at room temperature so this is the problem now what is given in the problem rh is given and also conductivity sigma is given what is asked in the problem ne carrier charge density or carrier concentration ne asked then electron mobility mu e is asked so these are the two terms so let us first write what is given in the problem so given rh is equal to 3.66 into 10 power minus 4 meter cube per coulomb then sigma is equal to 112 ohm per minus 1 or i can write mo mo per meter so what is asked is ne so you know the formula for connecting the ne and rh so we have found the hall coefficient theoretically as well as experimentally so experimentally when we do we are actually using the semiconductor so let us take the equation corresponding to n type semiconductor so for n type semiconductor ne is equal to 3 pi by 8 we can put or 1.16 or 1 so that that value you can put 1 by e into rh so 3 into pi divided by 8 into 1 by 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 rh is 3.66 into 10 power minus 4 okay so when you calculate this you can check the answer by doing in the calculator 2.01 into 10 power 22 atoms per meter cube so that is the charge carrier concentration i will put the next parameter here itself what is asked electron mobility is asked okay so electron mobility mu e is equal to sigma e divided by n e into e so sigma e is given in the problem that is 112 so the terms given rh and sigma if you see the units it requires no conversion so direct substitution only okay so 112 ne just now you have found out substitute that one 2.01 into 10 power 22 into 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 so the answer is you can do it in the calculator to check 0.0348 meter square volt power minus 1 second power minus 1 always you should write with unit if you don't write the unit you will lose marks okay the term has no meaning without the unit suppose mu e is equal to 0.0348 if you give no it will not convey anything 
But if you include the unit, it means that it is mobility. Even if you don't give mu e, it is understood it is a mobility. Okay, so this is the problem. So we'll move on to the next problem. So this is uh, one example from Hall effect. So let us read the problem. Find the intrinsic carrier concentration and position of Fermi energy level in silicon with respect to the valence band edge. Given mh star is equal to so much, that is in terms of m0, me star is equal to 0.49 m0, nc is equal to so much, nv is equal to so much, and t is equal to 300 Kelvin. So let us write the uh, given terms. So given mh star is equal to 0.92 m0, me star is equal to 0.49 m0 nc is equal to 2.21 into 10 power uh, 25 atoms per meter cube nv is equal to 8.6 into 10 power 24 these are the pseudo constants then t is equal to 300 kelvin now let us write the expression for intrinsic carrier concentration in terms of Me star and Nh star. Okay, we have few different equations, so we have to choose the appropriate equations. You can check your notebook. Ni is equal to 2 into 2 pi kBT divided by H square whole power 3 by 2. M e star, M h star, whole power 3 by 4, exponential minus E g divided by 2 k b t. Okay, now let us uh, look into the problem once again. See, I have 2, 2 pi k b t h, everything is constant. M e star, M h star is given in the problem. Then exponential E g, E g is not given in the problem. But what is given? S i. So 1.1 electron volt. Then 2 k b t, t is given as 300 Kelvin. So all the terms on the right hand side are given. So it is only substitution. So you substitute. So 2 into 2 pi k b t divided by h square whole power 3 by 2. For this, I will substitute it as 0.92 m0 multiplied by 0.49 m0 whole power 3 by 4 exponential minus eg divided by 2 kbt. Then 2 into, see here, m0 into m0 is m0 square whole power 3 by 4 is m0 whole power 3 by 2. Okay, so I can bring that inside. So 2 pi m0 kbt divided by h square whole power 3 by 2. Okay, so 0 0.92 into 0 0.49 whole power 3 by 4 exponential minus eg by 2 kbt so now you substitute you you should get the answer as ni is equal to 1.47 into 10 power 16 atoms per meter cube you can check it using your calculator Okay, so what is understood here is I am not using NC and NV at all. So sometimes this happens. Unwanted terms will be given just it will be a matter of confusion. Now you can ask what about the second one that is one more thing is asked that is position of Fermi energy. Okay, so let us write that also you will understand still. EF is equal to, you know the formula, 
EJ by 2 plus 3KBT divided by 4 ln MH star divided by ME star. So, you look into the terms EG for silicon we know the value then KB is a constant T is given MH, ME star both are given. So, we can substitute and get the answer. So, you substitute all the values you should get the answer as 0 0.562. Zero point five six two electron volt. So even when we do the second part of the problem, we are not using this N C and N V. So just on looking at the problem, you should not jump to a conclusion that you do not know how to do the problem. You have to just write all the given terms. Then write the required formula. It may be very easy also like this. Okay. So this with this I complete this problem. So with this I stop for now and continue in the next lecture. Thank you students. Thank you.